Welcome, welcome again to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. I'm your man, Kadan Sterling, and I got another treat for y'all today. It's a really, really hot day. Today, we're going to talk about this BMW Roaster, the king of the roasters, this Z4. Stick with me, right here on Cars, Golf, and Cigars. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. I'm your man, Kadan Sterling. And today, we are actually doing a review on a classic roaster. I call it a classic. It's really not that old to call it a classic. It's just the body style to me, the mentality to me of what BMW has done with the Z, the Z series is just, it's what makes it a classic. And why they're going up in appreciation right now. This 2009 Z4, all right? S-Drive 35i. Not sure why it has so many names. But uh, yeah, that's the name. Stick with me. Hey, welcome back to the 2009 S Drive 35 i Z4 BMW. All right, let's do a little walk around with it. It's a seriously hot day today. The sun is crazy out here, so we're not gonna be out here. <laughs> we're not gonna be out here that long. You know, I used to be a real big, big, big fan of convertibles, and I and I then I fell off from them for a little while. I wasn't really feeling convertibles, but now. I think I'm really back on my convertible thing. Like I'm really feeling the body style of this. I'm really, really feeling, even the color. I'm really, really loving the color, you know? I borrowed this one today from a good friend of mine. What's up, senior? What's good, brother? I appreciate you. Appreciate you supporting the channel, Cars, Golf, and Cigars. And um, he said, yo, come get my Z4. Take it out. Tell me how you feel about it. You know, I don't have time to really appreciate it. He doesn't drive it that much, you know? It's a 09. I think he's probably the first or second owner of this vehicle, but he loves it. It's part of his collection. He's a BMW guy, so he basically has a lot of the BMW series. So this is one of his favorites. So he said, come get the keys, take it out. Let me know what you think about it. You know, I want, I want the people to see it because this color is so rare. Now, let me get a little closer so you can see the actual metallic in this paint. Man. Oh, it's a champagne color, black, spec leather seats and my biggest thing is i want to i want to show you all the experience of this because there's a whole forum just for people who love z's and if you know anything about bmw you know that they basically gave this platform to the supra if you have a new supra i'm sorry to tell you or maybe i'm not sorry to educate you this is what you're really driving the new supra is sitting on the z frame and the interior of the new Supra is all from BMW. All right, so Toyota people, Supra people, if you got a new Supra, you really are driving a Z4 or a Z8, but Z4, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're gonna take it out for a run, and you know, we're gonna see what kind of performance it has. Stick with me, right here, cars, golf, and cigars. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm your man, Kadan Sterling, and this is Cars, Golf, and Cigars. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel, being down with the channel, and um, <clears throat> we almost had 10,000 subscribers, so I'm looking forward to that. I really am. Today, we are talking about this 09 Z4 BMW, all right, S-Drive 35i. Like I said, I have no idea why it has so many names, but that's the name. But... To get right to the spec of it, all right, we're talking about a, a 3.0 inline six, horsepower anywhere between 255 to 300, depends. You know, some people may, some people may boost it, turbo it, or what have you, but naturally it's a naturally aspirated engine. And MPGs is actually great. We're talking 19 city, 25 or 27 highway. So, in that regard, it's a practical roadster, that it's a performance car. Now, the reason why I wanted to review this particular car is simple. Number one, we don't do a lot of convertibles on this channel, but we will. And I, I really feel like a lot of convertibles are starting to come my way. So we're definitely going to put them on there. Number two, this has always been one of my favorite BM, um, BMW convertibles. Now, my favorite probably is the 6 Series. Absolutely. But... This has his own fan base. This has his own culture. There's people that love the Z, the Z platform, the Z frame, the Roadster. This is a real Roadster. 
um, the fact that you all low to the ground makes the the suspension immaculate. It makes the driving experience fun. It's a fun car. Do it has its things about it that I may not be fond of? Yes. I have coupes, but I do like coupes that give you the ability to have more than just two seats. This is really a two-seater. There's nothing else in this car but the two seats and back here. But this car is made for that day on that Sunday when you want to take it out, have a good time, run through the canyons, run through the mountains, go up and down the coast, and really appreciate great weather. We had to park in the shade because it's hot. It's hot, hot today. You know what I mean? But performance-wise, from the time I've spent with the vehicle, I see why people love the car. You will forget exactly that the car is small from the way that it drives. You will absolutely forget that it's small because it has so much power. Like, it really has power, you know? It has the auto shift. It, it comes with the six to seven um, automatic. You can get it in a manual as well. It'll come in a six-speed manual if you get that. Um, but the auto shift is great, and the auto shift actually it's faster, I think, than a lot of people driving a manual, to be honest with you. That's what I think. So, but detailing wise, a lot of storage space. And to me, it's one of the better made BMWs. no fun if you can't take a route right it ain't no fun if you can't take a route so let's get on the highway and let's see um let's see what she got oh oh <laughs> we even went nowhere yet <laughs> stick with me one thing i would definitely will say the acceleration on this car is phenomenal it does have a lot of torque man it, it, it picks up it giddies up and yeah like that Definitely does a good zero to 16 under five. You know, I personally would want a bigger coupe, a bigger convertible, but if you're looking for a fun car, this is it. This is definitely a fun car. <laughs> hey, thank y'all so much for watching. Cars, golf, and cigars. I'll see you on the next one.